I right, just want to spend a couple of minutes showing you an approach that I've been using on slow loadable component page objects. Slow loadable component page objects are used for pages like this. You can see here that this page has a header and a form on it. But when the page loads, if I reload this, you can see that the header is there, then the form takes a little bit of time. Now, if we don't add synchronization in our tests, and we try and click on the, we try and fill in the form or click the send button immediately, the test will fail because the elements aren't there. So we need to synchronize and we use slow loadable components to do that. Uh, by the way, this page is public. It's an example from the uh, QNES site, which just has a lot of examples and a lot of illustrations of uh, web design work. And I thought this page was a really good example for, it's nice and simple, but it shows some of the synchronization problems that we have and slow loadable component is a good fit for this. The source code for this, by the way, is all on Bitbucket under the WebDriver Experiments project. And the links are in a, a blog post, or you can see them here. Just go off to Bitbucket, AJ Richardson, WebDriver Experiments in the source test, Java, com, Selenium Simplified, WebDriver, slow loading, and you'll find all the page objects that I'm using as examples in here. Now with a slow loadable component, we create the page object that extends slow loadable component, returning the page object itself. And we create a constructor that has the driver, uses the super to set it up, just the normal slow loadable component stuff. You can see here that this load method does actually load the page. Very often when I'm using slow loadable components, I don't load anything because they happen through navigation in an Ajax. And then we end up getting is loaded methods like this. All our is loaded methods tend to be wrapped with try catch blocks because we have to catch web driver exceptions and convert them into errors. Otherwise the slow loadable component doesn't pick them up. And then we end up having a very cluttered set of um, code in the is loaded, adding more and more try catch blocks or more code in here with all the if else in order to make the, the test work. And that's been annoying me recently. So what I've been doing instead is trying to make it more, a little bit cleaner. And I've been using a, an is loaded object for this. So it's a helper object. Now I can have a, an immediate aversion to helper objects because they tend to be dumping grounds where people just drop methods in, like a page object helper method just has everything that anyone has ever intended to use with a generic page object methods. Here, I don't mind it so much. This is really taking the an example from the WebDriver expected conditions class. That's a support object which has static methods that return expected conditions for WebDriver weights. It's really clean. It's a good example. This does the same thing. This is an is loaded helper. And you can see that it's fluent, it's readable. It says things like this page is loaded and it says is loaded when an element is vid visible, when an element is enabled, when another element is visible, when another element is enabled. And you can see I can just keep chaining methods on here that are in this is loaded class. And I've made it a little bit fluent with this for this method that takes the driver in. Now these methods, pretty much the same code as we had before, but just wrapped up in a nice, neat, tidy little package where there's a constructor in here the for this is a, a public method that takes the constructor, so I don't need to use this factory method to construct it. I could construct it directly if I really wanted to. And we've got these when element is visible checks, which they're fluent in that they return this if it passes, so I can chain them. And they throw an error when they fail, which is captured by the slow loadable component. So all the code is on Bitbucket. Have a look through it. Uh, I think this is nice and tidy. I've been using this a lot in my production work for page objects. So try it out, experiment with it, see how you get on. Hi, the video you've just been watching is an excerpt from a much, much longer training course. It's about 16, 17, 18 hours. I'm not exactly sure how many hours are on that training course. It's an online training course on Udemy. If you go off to seleniumsimplified.com slash go slash online, then you'll get taken to a page that has all the information you need, or just go off to the seleniumsimplified.com blog itself. Any one of these icons, the big orange course picture, will show you more details about the course and you can learn more. We cover pretty much the entire WebDriver API in terms of the, the production usage of it. 
uh, leading from the very basics of navigation through to how to interrogate the DOM, through to how to manipulate the information, how to do page objects, how to synchronize effectively on the page. There's an awful lot of stuff in this course. Uh, you, can find, you can join the course online, do it at your own pace. This has just been a very small excerpt from that course. So I hope you'll go off to seleniumsimplified.com slash go slash online and get more information about the course.